There we are. Filament holder is on. And now we're moving on to step 12. Now, this is obviously where we want to take all of the leads, connect them up correctly to the right locations, and really we need to use instructions quite heavily here. You can see actually we have different letters that mark the different wires that go to different stepper motors. Um, so we need to make sure that these go in the right place, otherwise obviously it's just not going to work. Um, right, I'm not going to video the next bit, I'm sure you can work it out yourselves. Um, but we'll come back to you um, once we've got it all wired in. So here we have with our Z stop, we've got our X stop, we've got our X stepper motor, we have our E for the extruder, and then down here we have this wire here for the Z motor, and then if we go underneath we can also see the Y, so we've got the Y motor and we've got a Y end stop in there, this is the main power plug. The next wire then is this ribbon cable, which is a little bit blurry, and it then goes into our EXP free socket on the back of the screen. Alright, that's us. Um, right. So the next bits now are we're going to make sure that we tension and align the belts here, so this will need to get tensioned. We've also just been looking around, just checking the rollers, and we find that this roller down here needs a bit of adjustment so we're going to adjust this roller you need just the spanner and there's an allen key there just so we can adjust that the other thing we've noticed is the build plate there's a bit of play in there so what we're going to do is we're going to take the bed off um, and then we're going to tighten the rollers in there and we're also tension this belt here while we're at it right so we're just going to use a screwdriver here put it down the side of this bolt and that then allows us to just put a bit of levering there so we can actually tension the belt. We're not going to over tension it, we're just going to get enough tension on it so it pulls it taut. Okay, so once you've wound, unwound all four of these, you should just be able to lift the heat plate and now what you'll see is these springs, they're probably going to fall out now. Um, I'm just going to put that carefully over to one side. Um, and now we've got these here. Now we can see actually we've got a little bit of play in this so we're going to have to slacken these off and try and get the tension on these so the tension on each of the four rollers is, is equal and that should then take the slack out of this, this roller assembly. Okay so now we've got it all connected up, we've adjusted all the rollers, make sure they're all taut, there's no play now Next thing we want to do really is check this level. So with this build plate to this axis here. Now if you notice here, if I go across, it gets further away at one end. As we come closer, it starts to bind. So we don't want that. So the next thing we want to do is now just adjust this and make sure that we get it level. So we're going to have to undo some of these bolts that actually hold the frame to these roller assemblies and then that will allow us to adjust this so that we have it level with the build plate. Okay, that's it for now. Um, we'll come back when we've got it um, wired in and we'll actually get this thing moving under its own will. Right, thanks for listening. Bye.